guys it is freezing cold Okay, hey guys, it's about 7.05, I'm just going to quickly chat about something. Yesterday, I done a devotion, right, and um, it really spoke volumes to me. It was so incredible and such a word in season. Since we've been making more of an effort to do family devotions together as a family, it's like it's like God has spoken more to us. I was just sharing with my family, like, if you give God space to speak, then you'll hear more from Him. But if you're, like, too busy to schedule in that time for Him, you're prob we're probably going to miss out on um, so much of what God wants to share with us. So, yesterday, we done a devotion, which was really nice. Um, it was about weights, worries, and weariness. The devotion part is just the best like oh gosh ephesians 2 8 reminds us that our salvation is a gift from god so we can't boast in it in other words you can't earn it nor can you perform in order to receive it this gift is based on the value that god has already placed on you take some time to ask yourself the following questions to help you to discern whether performance weights are wearing you down one am i driven by a need to perform two is this need fueled by fear or by passion? Three, is this mentality bringing me joy or stress? Four, is this mentality filling my cup or draining it? Five, what is my mindset around my worth? And six, do I like my worth? Or do I live like my worth is based on success and status? Those questions, eh, it, it really keeps you accountable and makes you like, well, made me like really look internally and just like there's no nowhere that like an ego or selfish ambition or vacancy can hide like it just exposes these these questions expose um you know motives and and all of that so morning guys i was meant to take miriam on a one-on-one -on -one day but she's coughing a little bit the girls have we got church tomorrow and there's a christmas thing so i got this from home bargains Oh no, B and M, and it was super cheap. It was like a pound fifty, and um, it's a snowflake biscuit kit thing. I'm not a baker, and I'm not that mum, but I'm trying to do like more like Christmas things with them, and they seem to love baking. So first, girls, wash your hands, please, girls. Go and wash your hands. Take off your rope, honey. Hang your rope somewhere. Just don't chuck on the ground. So what am I, oh my gosh, like I'm not a baker and so I don't have like a thing that you use to mix, oh I need flour. So 10 ml water for icing sugar, 20 water, 20 mils for 120 grams. Okay, that's the thing. 120? Yeah, put it in the bottom. Watch out for your fingers. No, down. Down below. Down below. Yeah. yeah push it in love. Good girl. Yeah, nice. And you close. Good girl. Okay, 15 minutes now. Great. Can we open it? Oh, that's so strong. <laughs> I need some hot now. It's done. Okay, and can I taste it? Yeah. Mm. 
What do you think? Are you sure? Is it too crunchy? What the icing sugar? Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Okay. Bye bye guys. Bye guys. Okay, so I am here on the bottom of Wrap the Girls Presents. Guys, it is freezing cold. I don't even just jump in. Ooh, so I'm going to the gym. It doesn't look like I'm going to the gym. I'm actually going for a swim. I'm not going to the gym. And I'm actually not gonna wear this hat, but isn't that cute? <sighs> Self-regulating time, guys. Let's turn on the car. <sighs> Okay, so, um, it's really cold. It is my one, one degrees. And I'm trying to fix my camera thing. But it is just not helping. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, my, no. Lord God Almighty. This is not happening to me. Oh my gosh, the whole thing has just fallen apart. <sighs> what time is it? Four. Okay, so. <sighs> Be bothered, son. Oh my. Okay, Jesus. Jesus, help me. It's been a day of practicing patience, Lord. Help me, Lord God Almighty. Honestly, Lord. Help me, Father in heaven. So, what I was saying is, um, this is so annoying. Um, um, yeah, so, guys, I am on my way to go to for a swim, and I'm hoping that I, my attitude shifts, because honestly, I have not. I just feel like I'm just not bothered. I, f I feel like I'm not bothered, but I find it so hard to switch off. Um, like, so I was managing the girls, like they're both sick, obviously I'm trying to manage the house and all that mum stuff in between, but then I was also trying to like do some admin for YouTube and editing and then doing some stuff for um, church, like the social media stuff. And um, editing it, it's, it's for people that edit and for people that, that do YouTube, it can take hours of your time. So I am just trying to like, I don't know, I'm trying, what am I trying to do? I am trying to... I have left home um, to one self-regulate 
and i don't know if i've like mentioned that quite a bit in my vlogs lately and stuff but it's something that i've just been like learning about and um i actually stumbled across a um status on facebook right and um it's one from one of the ladies that go to church and she was talking about how sometimes like for parents they expect their child to be really good at self-regulating when really like at their maturity level and at their age it's still like too soon for them to know how to do that and for me it just made me realize like oh gosh like maybe like my expectations for my kids to know how to self-regulate is just way too soon but then as i was like reading this i was like oh my gosh like i don't even know if i if i'm good at self-regulating like maybe this is gonna help me to like be able to just manage my triggers when they go off you know and what do i mean by triggers i mean like you know as a mom and or as a person like things trigger you to like react or to like get really moody or get really like um aggressive or anything like that um yeah i it just made me think like it just i don't know it was quite thought provoking and i just thought to myself i don't even know if i know how to self-regulate and i just found it so intriguing it's because it's nothing that i have read before and i was just like wow that's so amazing like i've learned something new you know sometimes when you like read parenting books or read christian books and you're like i've heard that before i know i've heard that before i've heard that before. this i have not heard before and basically it's just kind of like self-regulating is like practicing self-control but in a more detailed way so i think I've been going on a journey guys like of just like being more self-aware and just self-observing and just like watching how I self-regulate and I feel like I'm making more of a conscious effort and being more intentional with like pausing and like when the trigger happens or when I feel like oh my gosh I'm about to get flustered or or like oh my gosh it's just been so busy in my mind I need to like I need to stop because I feel myself like starting to like I feel my like I'm starting to get anxious and stuff and so it's been a really cool way of like helping my heart rate just calm like come back down and so like I just wanted to share a few th things that help me self-regulate and I'm actually gonna go online I don't know if these are if other people do this but maybe they do like maybe this is a thing and i wish like it's so cool because i feel i don't know like i don't know many mothers who talk about what they do to self-regulate when they are feeling overwhelmed so um you guys have seen the baking stuff right well just to paint like a real quick picture before that so then like i was just like oh actually israel i'm gonna go upstairs and before i bake with the girls i'm gonna calm down because i feel like i'm about to get triggered and i feel like i i just need to calm down like i just need to bring it down like this just been a, I, let me declutter my mind so i went upstairs i had a shower um and i had a freezing cold shower and for me like that really calmed me down like there was still a bit of like you know antsy feeling inside of me but it helped so much like the freezing cold shower just kind of like i don't know it done something and so now i am intrigued i want to go back and just do some research and see like what's happening like when you have a freezing cold shower the second thing that also helps me self-regulate is singing and of course worship It's such a beautiful mashup. Such a beautiful mashup, honestly. Good morning, all. So my dinner is sick. I've got a right. Um, do you remember I said on my. I shared that devotion with you guys 
and it's been like a whole like few days five days <sighs> I haven't written it down so I'm gonna write it down I think I'll start here because that already is quite thought-provoking um, so I'll start here Sorry, don't mind the background noise. Um, Marcina and Marim are both sick, and so this is like day five for Marcina. Day Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four for Marim. Um, and I just reread, I just wrote it down, and I just want to share them again because they are just like even now I've. It's just addressing like my. And my motives, addressing my, like just checking me. If I achieve, am I worthy enough? If I am accepted, then am I lovable enough? If I succeed, then am I significant enough? Am I driven by a need <coughs> to perform? Is this need fueled by fear or by passion? Is this mentality bringing me joy or stress? Is this mentality filling my cup or draining it? What is my mindset around my worth? Do I live like my worth is based on success and status? I've been praying about vision and stuff and I love that God is so kind to check in on me and to address like, you know, maybe hidden motives, hidden insecurities. Like he's so kind to just address certain things and build a solid foundation and a healthy foundation before I start, you know, um, in my journey of like building. Um, whether that's whatever it may, that may look like and whatever that is So yeah, he's so kind, doesn't he? He's just, he's lush. Honestly, God is, you, Lord, you're amazing So I got, um, I've got like a wee like sheen hair accessories haul, like really mini I basically bought these accessories because of like Christmas time. I feel like when you just buy like little pieces it just make such a huge difference to to an outfit and so and to a look so yeah guys i already took it out of the package packaging but it's all of this here i did share on my ig as well so i'm just gonna go through all of that so the first bit that i bought um were these like cute mini clips for the girls it's so funny because like israel and i we actually got it for Ethel. So they're like cute mini clips. I've actually got two on my hair. So I've got that one there. This one. And I've got another one there. Two brown ones. And then they've got like, they're just so cute. Look at them. Also it's from Sheen. So that's like really cute. Got turquoise, cream, brown and black. And I'll just use this for like, I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't put this in the girls here for them to go to for them to go out but I'll definitely they could definitely use this um, at home and basically it's because like it wouldn't really be secure because you know because they like to do flips they like to run around and it just wouldn't really like you know stay intact um, yeah, so I'd use these at home. So right now, my Cena's sick and she's got, she's got her hair up in a bun and she's got one of these in her hair. So that is the first bit. We're just gonna pop it in here. And then the second bit is we have, I actually have four, but yeah. So these bows here, they're really cute. Um, they've got like a little locket thing in the middle which is so cute i almost want to do like a hair um not a hair tutorial thing maybe i don't know like a hair thing because i do enjoy hair um i used to do hair back in the day 
so yeah before the girls were here so um and now we're just all fun on my girls so yeah i've got some cute bows i love bows they're just the cutest thing for christmas i do love like i do love i do love fun pieces and this is quite a playful piece quite a playful um vibe but i got like two gingerbread men if you put it on and have a look and see i feel like i could wear all black and then these earrings i, I don't know eh? it's just like i love a playful earring it's just i don't know it's just oh that is just it looks a little bit unusual <laughs> unusual but that's okay we'll just go with it <laughs> so that fun look at him that's what it looks like you know like a pink thing there so yeah um i think if i wore these i would i don't know if i should like leave my hair down have it back i don't know i'm not sure I don't know what the vibes are at the minute. That's cute. What do you think, guys? Da, da, da. So that's like a playful earring. And then I have these. Now that is super cute and super classy. Okay. So let's have a look and see what this looks like. And it's so cool because like drink, uh, it's a bit tight because it looks a bit strange. Oh, that is really cute. Yeah, I like that. That's really nice, isn't it? The reason why I got these right, I was watching a, a show. I think it was like the voice note was, oh, is that called Sing? No, it's not even called Sing. What is it called? Um, voice or British voice or whatever you call it. And, um, there's this girl and I loved her outfit and it was her earrings that just stood out. It was just like, she had like pearls on and it just looked so cool. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. I like that. See, do you know what I mean? Like, you just, it just changed my whole outfit. I wouldn't have my hair like this though. Um, I don't know how I'd have it, but just not like this. Oh, I like that. I really like it. So yeah, that's the mini, the mini haul thing, magic. Um, just really random. I thought I'd show you. I ended up um, wrapping up the girls' presents. I didn't vlog that bit. Ended up wrapping the girls' presents. So now I've got all their gifts sorted. I can just literally release that from my mental space because I just don't even want to think about Christmas anymore. And so, guys, if you don't already know, it's my birthday. It's my birthday soon. It's my birthday in three days, I think. Wait, what's today? 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Three days. And it's so funny because, like, I had these, um, I had a new voucher. I had these vouchers from, like, the gym. And, it, like, you could, like, it was, like, a free stay at the hotel. And guess what? Guess what? I called and I'm just like, hey there, I'd love to book a, um a stay for myself please on the tuesday night and they're like oh, okay then and i was like yes it's the free voucher that i got gifted um because i'm a new member blah 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 and they're like oh, okay then and then he's like oh i'm so sorry but um the expired on the 30th of november and i was just like oh never mind never mind then so i have no idea i don't have big plans this year like last year it was nice, like, I got to do something, but, like, this year, I don't really feel like doing something big. And I don't want to force myself. I was just like, mm, nah. So I'm probably going to do something small. Um, don't even know what I'm doing. I really, this is going to sound so basic, but I really want to go and watch Avatar at 3D. I know, it's really basic and simple, isn't it? But you know what? I really am trying to enjoy the more simple things in life i think it's i think it's a beautiful thing if you can like appreciate the simple things in life i feel like it unlocks so much joy and so like it's so easy like last and honestly I, should i no nah, i'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna be too open 
But yo guys, I if you if, if you're wondering why I'm so hyped, it's because I just had a coffee. So you guys, that was that. Um, I think I'm gonna end my vlog here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Also, Marcina is still sick. Last night it was just horrendous. I felt like I was just losing patience. But then to self-regulate, I kicked everyone out of my room. I cleaned my room. Then my husband came back. I done the bed. I got dressed. I had a shower. I had a freezing cold shower again. And that helped so much. And so now I'm gonna focus on editing today focus on releasing this content and then I'm going to just like enjoy cleaning my house. Yay, I can't wait to clean today, honestly guys.